Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today we'll be trying out some unique food creations with mochi. I love mochi, I am so excited for this episode. Chinese Tofu Magician is a store from China that sells spruced up soy milk drinks. And they recently opened up a store in Paya Lebar Square and they drew like really really long queues. And you know what? They're so popular, they only let you buy like two drinks at one time. So their soybean milk is like very special. It takes like 45 minutes and 8 processes to create just one pot. And they grind their soybeans fresh every day with this like ancient stone grinding technique on a big stone mill. So what we have here is the soy milk tea with soy foam and white jade. So there's soy milk tea and then there's a creamy soy foam on top and then it's dusted with soybean powder and white jade which is the mochi. Oh <gasps> look at that. This looks so creamy. So you're supposed to roll this around in the soy foam and it helps to enhance the flavor of the mochi. All right I'm gonna try the white jade first. Mmm wow these mochi balls are fantastic. Like so 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 good. This is just the right amount of like chewiness. It's chewy without being stodgy. Because sometimes mochi can be a bit hard, so it feels like it's a lot of effort to chew it. This one is like just nice. Like soft, chewy, and firm all together. And the cream, the cream is like damn short. It's actually a little bit like cheese. It's like fragrant and also a little bit savory and sweet. Okay, let me mix it up. I actually really didn't want to mix it up because I like the cream on its own. Yeah, let me try the milk tea. Mmm! Oh, there is jelly. It's a bit flowery, a bit like fruity. I'm okay with the jelly. I kind of prefer pudding. Oh, this is reminding me of like the soy milk bobo from Haiti. There's so many different textures and surprises along the way. The soy milk is very rich. And the soybean does taste a little bit different from like the soya bean that I'm used to. It's really like less sweet, more earthy, a bit flowery. Maybe that's because of the tea. So it's really moorish. I think it's because there's a bit of the kinako, which is a bit like nutty and then you also have the cream which is a bit savoury and then you have the tea that's a bit flowery and just all together it's just really quite beautiful and I think right it's very very smooth and it's very fragrant and that mochi is very good I think I would give this a 10 out of 10 I'm loving all the textures together and as a drink it's just like so much fun so here we have donuts and mochi these are called dochis <gasps> The name is so cute! So this is from WTV Food, which stands for whatever food. So the owner is quite cute. She says it came from how, you know, every time you ask Singaporeans what they want to eat, they're like, whatever lah. So it was kind of like an offshoot of that. And also, it's not going to be confined to just dochi. She started as a home-based business in July 2021. I guess that means we don't know what she might bring to the table next. So they offer a range of flavours, which are mostly sweet, but they do have one savoury. So today, we have one savoury and one sweet. So this is their only savoury flavour, the parmesan garlic butter and this dochi is like slathered with like homemade garlic butter and then it's topped with parmesan cheese and parsley flakes. Oh, the garlic butter, you can really smell it. It just smells very rich and very garlicky. Oh my god, it's so soft! Oh, I was not expecting it to be this soft. Okay, yeah, let's try this. Mmm! It's so buttery. Kind of reminds me of, you know when you get escargot? Like the garlic butter is just pulled at the bottom. It's kind of like that. Oh, this is so addictive. Oh, this is going to be very hard to stop. How? <laughs> Don't stop. I'm going to have another one. Actually, if you didn't tell me there was mochi in here, I probably wouldn't have guessed. It brings to mind like the Krispy Kreme donuts, but like chewier and lighter. It's oily, but it doesn't feel heavy. I find these quite decadent. Actually, even though they're so small, there's like quite a lot of oil and a lot of butter, but it tastes really, really good. Okay, I want to try another one. We have the Biscoff Crunch. This is topped with the Lotus Biscoff spread as well as the biscuit. This is surprisingly not too sweet. I thought this was going to be like super sweet just because there's so much sweet stuff on top of it, but I think it's like really not too sweet at all. The biscoff on top doesn't really add any like crunch to it actually like because the biscoff biscuit is already like quite soft and crumbly. It's more of like a bit more of a rougher texture uh, and then I couldn't really 
tell there was any Biscoff spread. It's like, you know when you eat Nutella by the spoonful and then it just like kind of like sticks to your teeth. I was kind of expecting that a little bit with this spread, but it wasn't at all. I think it's a quite a thin layer. I think maybe because everything is already a little bit sweet. So I think it's quite cool that she managed to make this like not that sweet. This dochi thing is very addictive. It's just one of those like I can almost imagine like if they made it even smaller and put it in a bag. Oh my god, I think I cannot stop. I won't be able to stop eating it. Just like the right combination of like oily, fried, chewy, light, doughy, but not heavy doughy. So I think overall rating, I think this one is like, it's quite fun, it's nice to eat, it's tasty, it's an interesting mixture of textures. So I think I would give this like an 8.5 out of 10. For this one, I really like it. It makes me think of garlic bread, but like a different version of garlic bread. So that is quite exciting for me. So I mean, I would give this like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I do think that kids will really like it. And also for the kids inside us. This is a moati croissant cube from Kyongsaik Bakery. It's a charcoal croissant cube, and inside we have black sesame paste. We have moati, which is made from the same ingredient as mochi, which is like glutinous rice flour. And then it's got crushed peanuts on top of it. I have never seen a croissant in this shape before. I'm very excited to try this. Oh, that looks so beautiful. I'm gonna have a bite with like all the good stuff in it. Let's try this. Mmm, the croissant is like crunchy on the outside. The black sesame paste is very gal. But the overall sensation that I get from this is that it's very sticky. Because the black sesame paste is generally already a very sticky paste. And then the mati is also very sticky. And then together with like the croissant. Okay, the croissant is not sticky but like the croissant and the peanuts, they're a bit more on the dry side, right? So then you have sticky and dry together which is like, it feels like a little bit dangerous to eat because it's like a choking hazard. <laughs> It's just all together. I'm probably making it sound more dramatic than it is, but um, I would recommend smaller bites. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try like a smaller mouthful. Yeah, it's much more manageable with like smaller mouthfuls. <laughs> like <laughs> because there's certain things that you can eat, like very big mouthfuls. This is not one of them. I do feel like the textures together can be a bit much, but. It's delicious. I do think you need a drink with this, but overall it's really yummy. Very flavorful. It's a nice earthy dessert. It's a nice change from like the chocolate and the strawberries and the buttery that you would find in most bakeries. I think this is a dessert that would be great for sharing because it's just so rich and so gao. And it's also one of those desserts that I think after you eat, you'll be very satisfied. You know like some desserts you take, right? Then it's like after like, did I have dessert? Did I not? <laughs> this one is like you confirm or feel like yes, I had dessert. It was good. I am satisfied. Yeah. So overall, it's really yummy. I would give this an 8 out of 10. So this is the matcha mochi bun from Mama Fang. So Mama Fang is a home-based business and they sell these artisan steam buns that are made from all natural ingredients and they're also vegan. There's something about the shape and the colour and everything. It just makes me think of like a cartoon. And maybe it's the colour. Maybe it's the shape. It's just both of it. Well, it just feels like it belongs in a cartoon or an animation, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna cut this open. Okay, I'm gonna try and do the mochi pool. Oh, yes! Okay, let's try this. Mmm, this is very interesting. The mochi is very stretchy and very chewy. Actually, yeah, this is kind of like what I would imagine in my head if you told me like mochi bread. Because I can taste bread and then I can taste mochi separately and they're all together. Whereas I think a lot of the mochi breads that actually happen are usually like mochi mixed into bread or like mochi and bread almost like slightly separate or like encased or something. It's interesting, I don't recall having tasted something quite like this. A bread, I might have tasted like this but not with a mochi like this. The mochi is very light, it's almost a bit like, actually the way they do it kind of reminds me a bit of like nian gao, but like the lighter type of nian gao. Like after the nian gao has been like cooked and like a bit melty that kind. The matcha, you can taste like the bitterness, you can also taste like how green it is, like almost can taste the leaves that kind of feeling you know. It's very good, I really like how much flavour there is in here. Almost feels like it's just packed with matcha, very nice. The flavours and everything, like everything tastes clean, I don't know if that makes sense but like the bun tastes clean. <laughs> 
like very pure steam bun kind of flavour which is why it kind of reminds me of like a mantou I think I mean I like that it's not sweet and I like that it's got fun textures and flavours and flavours that you normally like associate with a dessert or like with tea but like not sweet also aesthetically I think it's really very pleasing it looked weird to me at first, but the more I look at it, the more I'm like, wow, it looks really quite nice and perfect. So yeah, I think overall I would give this a 10 out of 10. Oh, and I just realised also, this is like our first mochi of the day that is actually flavoured. <laughs> because the rest have been mostly either, well, mixed into dough, or like they're the plain mochi, and everything around it is flavoured. Hmm. Do you like cookies? Do you like mochi? We have a mochi cookie! Oh my god! Okay, so this is from Grams. So the person behind Grams is called Brian. And he is a cake enthusiast. Uh, he started off as a home baker. And the reason that all of it started was because he missed his grandma's baking. And so he wanted to recreate it. Okay, so we tried to do the mochi pull shot like they did in their picture. But we haven't been able to get it. And the mochi is like really hot at the moment. So we're gonna wait for it to cool down and then we'll just pull the mochi. <laughs> Just to show you how stretchy this thing is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's try it together. Mmm, that's very addictive. The butteriness is very, very good. And it's got like this caramelized, like brown butter, brown sugar kind of feeling. And with the mochi, it's so good. Mmm, it's really yummy. The cookie is a bit more like the Subway cookie texture. Like it's like soft, not chewy chewy, but a bit chewy, but like not super chewy. Alright, now we'll try one that has not been heated up. So texture wise, it is about the same. It's almost cake like in the center and the outside is nice and hard. The mochi definitely works better when it's heated up because it's soft and gooier. I kind of wondered, because the mochi center is quite small, so you will have a lot of the cookie that has no mochi at all. Maybe because like the inside is meant to be eaten with the mochi, so you get like that cookie bubble gum effect. <laughs> right? Then the outside is meant to be eaten as a cookie cookie. Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, I think that the mochi is very... Like, this is something quite interesting when it mixes together with the soft cookie bits. The overall effect there is like really quite interesting. Okay, I think overall, I would give this like a 7.5 out of 10. I kind of wish there was like a bit more mochi though. Or maybe spread more evenly or like distributed throughout the cookie. I don't know. But again, is it that the mochi is supposed to be eaten with the soft part only? Alright, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where to get them from, you can go to our tried and tested Facebook page, or you can check out the links in the description box down below, or you can join our Telegram channel. And if you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. Now all you need to do is hit that bell, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out to YouTube. Or you can just download the Click Network app. Alright, till next time, go be beautiful.